He is in charge of all Army logistics around the world. Major General John F. Wharton also serves as the commanding general for the Rock Island Arsenal. Clay Lapard continues the conversation with General Wharton and learns what's in store for the future in this week's edition of Rock Island Arsenal, Inside the Gate. As the drawdown in the Middle East continues, there's going to be big changes with our military. First Army will train around 10,000 soldiers a year compared to the 100,000 a year it did at its peak in 2003. An Army Sustainment Command will decrease its brigade commands globally from 45 to 33. So what does this all mean for the Rock Island Arsenal? So you're going to see a lot of changes in the future as we, uh, we move down the road. Last summer, Major General Wharton outlined his plan for the future in front of Quad City leaders, which includes rebranding the island to showcase it's important for organizations like Army Sustainment Command. We are headquartered here on Rock Island Arsenal, but we sustain uh, globally, and that is one thing that I don't know is well known to the public. Showcasing it is more than just a weapons manufacturer. And the rebranding is underway. Expect to see welcome signs go up on both sides of the post in the near future, along with more emphasis on new, clean technology. They talk about new construction going up. We're moving to net zero energy. We're trying to get off coal. We've got the turbines running, so we're compressing, consolidating to become more efficient as an organization. Many sectors of the island have already started new partnerships with private business as the demand for government work decreases. So you're going to see more and more of a strategy from uh, the arsenal. A strategy that more closely ties the arsenal to the community and its local businesses. Right now, the arsenal creates an economic impact of $1 billion to the area, along with an annual contribution to charity of nearly $500,000. We have an obligation as United States Army to our community. How do we help the community be, you know, in the future? All in all, there's one thing Major General Wharton says he won't change, and that's the people. I've had uh, 26 moves in 30-some years, and it's the best community I've ever been in, and I say that honestly and sincerely, um, and, and there's none better and, uh, than, than what we've seen here, and no better support anywhere uh, in the United States. Major General Wharton adds that it's important for everyone to know anyone can come onto the installation and see all it has to offer, from the museum to the visitor center. Clay Lapard, 10 at 10 on CBS4.